Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to the very first Case Slicker campaign Trash to Treasure episode. It's same jackpot number three here. I had a bit of uh, fiddling around because I am using my daughter's iPad and it was her game center, so like her image going on in there, and I'm not gonna be sharing that stuff when I can avoid it, so just had to like skip the first jackpot just so you guys know while we're starting at jackpot number three. But guys, Let's dig into it because I've been looking so much forward to doing these like mini case clicker jackpot episodes where we're farming the very low end of the jackpot system once again. Trying to build up real account value starting with... So I have loads of stuff stashed away but the important thing is that everything is stashed away and the only items we have to work with are valued at 15 bucks or below. We could really go even lower because I only really want to be betting with the $10 and below items in the very low jackpot trying to obtain the $10 plus items that we're going to be moving into the low jackpot and then doing this like a step by step thing and I'm expecting to be doing like a handful perhaps 10 jackpots in each episode going pretty slowly through it uh, checking out the numbers Letting you guys know why I'm deciding things the way I am and just keeping the episodes short enough for everybody that has like a short break and want to get in here to check it out. So let's change view. 14, 13, 13, that's like, and 13, and 11, and 10. Wow, this is, holy smokes. This is an insane jackpot. Meaning that I can, I could actually bet all these what I want to do is make sure that I can, I bet below the highest like batch of items we can win. So here, the highest batch of items, these were like 13, no, this was like such a good jackpot. Why am I starting it out by losing? Oh, well, it's official guys, I'm a freaking loser, but it's okay, we're gonna get winners soon at some point. I'm um, I'm really hoping and like crossing double fingers and everything that I can end every episode in a profit. So like if it only gets to be four jackpots but I'm in a profit I would rather stop it there and have a larger buffer in the next episode so that we can progress just a little bit each time. Of course it may not happen, it's, it's really a luck thing but that is my aim, it is <laughs> it is to try to build up a profit in every episode, but this was a really, really, really bad start. This was uh, this was freaking horrible. <laughs> uh, so th that was pretty much me going as much all in as I want to do here in the very low jackpot, because this is, I want to be betting below 10 bucks, and these were like the below 10 bucks we had. So here we have 14, and like here you can see like a more normal one. We have 8, 8, 7, 7. So I don't want to be betting high value items in order to win this. Ideally, like 6 bucks would be the best so that I could win these, 8, 8, 7, 7, and the high valued one. No, Ventura. What's up with that? This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a journey, guys. <laughs> okay, we're just starting out by being massive losers here. That's okay. I uh, I think I'm gonna have myself a bit of a comfort coffee here. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Loser Luke, lost luck. Yeah, that's how it is right now. But it, it's gonna turn. Don't worry, guys. It's gonna at some point we're gonna get it all back and then some. I'm not worried, it's just like super depressing for me to go in here and just be losing, losing, losing when I just wanted to go in and win. But I guess it's uh, it's easier to relate to and to do, to replicate if all you need to do is lose. So here we have three good items and then we have even 8, 7, 6, meaning that 5 and below is what I would be betting maximum. I'm starting out very low here, both because it's a 23% chance to win, it's pretty decent. Yes, come to me, come to me. So, now we're going guys, now we're going, that was a good win. 14, 14, 11, 8, 7, 6, 5 and below. That was good, that was, um, I actually think we, we're closing in on being in profit already, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go in and check things out here. 
So, all right, uh, one in jackpots, 125, lost in jackpots, 224. I'm just going with the total value so that all the jackpots that I have played, including like the one I didn't show because of the game center stuff and the one I did when I unlocked the jackpot, so just including it all, using that as the basis for the entire series. So it's not gonna be... I hope to do it on a per episode basis as well. The main thing is that we keep being in profit and when we win we get more expensive items than what we have been staking. So that we get items that allow us to move to the next jackpot and without losing anything that is important to us. That is the overall goal and I really want to be pushing uh, profit on the individual episode <laughs> like scene as well but let's see 13 11 11 10 and then 5 so anything like 5 below is is the maximum I want to be staking here so um, we're starting out low and that is because the best we can like hope to see here that we can use again are these five dollar skins and a bit more so it's not that good <laughs> cheerio why why are you doing that to me huh. oh well guys that was a uh, jackpot number seven let me just uh, go freshen up and then we are gonna be continuing with a few more i was uh, hoping to be winning now but uh, two seconds guys all right guys so when i say freshen up it is because some of my kids have guests and i do need to pay attention to that as well but I just wanted to shoot this because i'm losing internet this night for like the the period where i normally work on my videos so i really wanted to get these videos made and uploaded so that i didn't have like this one and a half day complete silence period when i don't really want to so uh, so just like recording a bit of a different time than what's uh, normal for me but, 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 guys, I want to profit. And so we are like more than a hundred bucks behind. But that's just winning one jackpot. <clears throat> winning one jackpot puts us in a profit. So um, I think it, I think it will, uh, depending on how it, how it's filled up, of course. <coughs> <coughs> wow, coffee time. And coughing time so let's check it out guys Ooh, that's not what I wanted so 12 11 10 10 and then we have eight so like five decent to good items and then junk so I'm I'm going a bit carefully here because I wasn't it's not that interesting I only had nine items that we could place because I stopped the jackpot a little late so normally that jackpot, if I had stopped it with an option to go in with 10 items, I would have bet higher. But because I was too slow on the stop button, I decided to go just, you know, we're going to get really lucky if we win this. And we didn't, so that was a bummer. But for me to have the percentages that I would have liked there, I should have staked even higher value items, meaning that it would have been too great a risk really for it to be worth it. So. It was, um, I'm not saying we would have won it if I had been faster on the stop button, but that was the main reason why I decided to bet as low as I did there instead of going, for instance, $5 items. I, I might have gone like $5, $6 items there instead if, if I had been able to stake another item. But this time around I'm in time, so 14 and then junk. 14 and then 7. Uh, so so it's like really bad. Of course it's good to win seven dollar items, but um, we're just once again staking really low. Twenty one bucks total, so nothing major. And we lose again. Okay. So of course it adds up to the amount of money we need to win back. Fire starter. But it's I mean it's it's silly risking a lot of value just to win this batch value that we can't really use for anything. I mean, it had like one really like keeper item and it's just not worth risking our high valued items for that. So, so yeah, no regrets guys. Moving in on <coughs> the 10th jackpot in total doing, yeah, what must be like the ninth in this episode. 
to come on Dr. Poop Hand. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we have 13, 13, 12, 12, and then 8, 8, 7. This is a good one. I could bet like five, six dollar items here without really feeling bad about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I haven't been like the luckiest guy on earth, so I'm just gonna like one down it and go right below five bucks. Um, just playing it a bit safe, it's almost 25% chance to win, which is like super good enough for me to lose what's going on today. Whoa, seriously. Well, at least we're starting out with a good item this time, 13.58. Well, I'm happy that I can share these uh, loser local jackpots with you guys, where you can really see how to lose in a jackpot, and of course, have lots of, whoa, those are cool items. I was about to mention all the mojo going on in the background but like i think i mentioned it's like not my ideal recording time right now and people are alive which is good by the way but uh, <laughs> it's a different kind of environment for me to be recording in here so so far i'm pretty hyped about this jackpot it's some pretty high stake stuff we have here high value items like 13s and four, another 14 another 10 this is even better than the first one we lost to, meaning that. So we have 14, 14, 13, 13, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8, 7. Wow, this is a good one. This is where we want to be betting um, higher. The question is, how much do I want to risk now? I, I do want to start profiting. <laughs> so let's go with these $7 items. And below, yeah, because we can actually win like almost an entire jackpot worth of higher valued items than this. So this could really be what puts us in a profit. Yes, I thought it would go up. Yes. So, oh, golden coin, that's an electric high, very nice. So not only are we getting value, red laminate, we're getting pinkies towards completing and red, some of the collections in here, that is really, really awesome. Wow, we're just 40 bucks behind being in a total profit. So guys, <laughs> let's, let's see if we can get a little something something and turn the tides here to go from trash to treasure in the first episode as well. So a lot of losing, a really cool. I mean, if I had won the first jackpot, we would have been like kicking it off so amazingly from the start. But I guess it's a, even more exciting to take a dive and, and get back up, really. So uh, I, I would really like to um, just get some profit now. I might even bet high for value now to wrap things up in a profit. Uh, but let's see what we get here. 13, 13, 9. Okay. So 13, 13, 9, 8 is what we're looking at. So we have a handful of around $10 items. And then it really just pops down. So if we go, so this is a bit higher than what I really want to be doing, but I really do want to like see if I can win value now. So if I, if I win this, we're like in a plus 100 profit. And I do, and I do, winner, right on, I like that. So, that was, it was going a, like a bit more high value than what I wanted. Still keeping it safe, we've got a flux this time as well, we've got some pinky stickers and life's good, freaking awesome. That was, uh, I like that. So, golden koi, very nice, very, very, very nice. So, 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 so. Let's just get some stuff sorted here. And what I want to do, I'm just, I'm thinking about should I be locking some stuff away? But, nah. This is how things are looking. These are like the interesting items in the equipment area that we have right now to work with. And loads of stuff we can be betting with moving forward because we also won that. It's not only about winning the high value stuff, of course that is the most interesting, but 
All the other stuff is also important in terms of junk bedding, in terms of completing different collections, all that stuff that also really matters. So, uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. So, guys, here are the statistics. Oh, that's much much more fun for me to show than the last live we went in here. Money won in jackpots, 458.52, and money lost in jackpots, 350. So, just about 100 bucks in profit by winning 3 out of 11 jackpots. That was what I had to share with you guys in this Trash to Treasure part of the Case Slicker campaign video. I do hope you enjoyed, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching.